This tutorial covers how to use checkbox. Um, make sure you add package name in front of FXML documents. And let's uh, open Java Sim Builder. Then I will add a couple of checkboxes. Let me add three checkboxes. Checkboxes allow us to select one item or two or in this case three items. Then let me add a text area so that you can see uh, whether the first checkbox is selected or second checkbox is selected or last one is selected. Then I will show you the value. It will be a premium value. For checkbox, I like to use prefix for CSK and the uh, name of objects. So I will name it as CHK Apple. Then you can put text name as Apple and so on. Um, I don't need to use a label, so let me just remove it. Okay, now we make new controller so that you can see new object's name. So let me remove a label and the uh, previous implementations. Then, as you can see, you can see a checkbox prefix CHK, apple, orange, and pear. Implementation is a straightforward um, CSK name of the object, in this case Apple, and the method is, is selected. As it is, if the checkbox is selected, it will return value called true, which is a premium value. Then let me add to a text area called uh, TA information, append text. Then value will appear as a, a text value. So make sure you do a type casting here because the premium data type should be convert to string using leper class. So string value of and then the value of um, checkbox.
If you don't select anything, then it will return false value. If you select one item, uh, it's going to return a true value. Let me delete it and try it. So the first one is correct, true, happily selected. The other two are not selected. Next example show you once the checkbox is selected with the conditions, um, we like to get um, text value of the checkbox. For example, Apple. If the checkbox um, pair is selected, I like to have a value called uh, pair. Then assign certain values to to calculate um, the price of Apple maybe price of pear or orange and so on. Okay, get text um, gets the value of the checkbox text or null value if it's not selected. So um, I'm trying to say uh, the if apple is selected, then always apple uh, $1.20 per kilograms. So simply show uh, Minimal information on the shopping cart, for example. So the idea is uh, if Apple is selected is $1.20, if the orange is selected will be $1.30, then the pair is selected will be additional $1.40.